Hey baby girls, how's everyone doing? Welcome back. I hope everyone is doing super super well today. Today we're going to be working with this design, so then let's get started. We're going to be using our 3XL square tips in a box. So, yeah, in a box, you guys. Not in a bag. <laughs> we're also going to be using coconuts um, in our 2 ounces, bubble bath, a nude, and coqueta. So let's get started you guys as you guys can see here i'm gonna be working with a uh, milky a milky white which is coconuts that is bomb nails milky white you guys so um i could have used white because we're gonna be doing like a baby boomer type of design um coquette type of design or vintage type of design like a vintage coquette something like that and i could have used white here but honestly i wanted something softer because again like the coquette vibe is more soft girl i guess you know what i mean so of course i didn't want anything like too harsh so um white it's just white you guys like white so i'm like you know what i want something like way softer than white so let's go with coconuts and that's what you're gonna see me applying here and also on the pinky um so all of these products i believe are still available on the website i don't know about bubble bath nude you guys uh i need to double check but um i'm not too sure as of like right now as we're speaking i'm not too sure but you can always go and check coconuts is still available uh, i think coqueta is still available um our i'm also using our 16 kalinsky brush which is still available and our number 14 just in case you don't want to go like and like too big on a brush we still have the 14 you guys uh so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and apply coconuts on the thumbnail and also on the pinky um, again because we're gonna be doing like a baby boomer type of design and we will be applying a foil on top of the white so I had like this vision in my head you guys I always tell you this I always mention to you guys that when I come and film and record my videos i usually don't have nothing in mind and i hate that i really do hate that because when i don't have nothing in mind for some reason i always screw up the design i always doing i always end up doing something i don't like or end up doing like too much you know what i mean it's like i'm adding things over things and over things and it's like it to me it's not looking good it's not looking cute so um, I usually like to kind of sketch out what I want like I have a, a vision in my head and then I like to sketch it out to see kind of where it's taking me you know what I mean and to see if I'm gonna like it to see if it's gonna look cute or whatever so yes in this in this case I did have something in mind I came sat down sketched it out I loved it and for the two middle nails we're gonna be just doing them nude because i had something in mind as i'm telling you so um i was gonna be doing a little heart design with like crystals and then right in the center i was gonna be using um blossom gel to create like a flower like a rose but um i didn't want to mess it up to be honest i'm like you know what i'm not gonna mess this up so i just ended up just literally doing crystals you guys with pearls so yeah you're gonna be seeing me do this later on on the video as for now i'm just gonna go ahead and apply um bubble bath nude all throughout these two nails which is my ring finger and my middle nail our products are very beginner friendly you guys anybody could pretty much work with them even if you're a beginner even if you are like literally barely starting if you're more advanced um anybody could really work with them they're very 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 easy to to just maneuver on the nail they're very buttery very creamy um it won't spread like throughout the nail of course if your room is too cold because that does play a huge role in your acrylic application of course it's gonna you know run everywhere but if you have a right temperature on your nail area or the room that you're working in it should be really good you guys and i'm talking about really good 
um, the right temperature should be around 70 degrees. Um, I think that's like a good temperature for you guys to work with. But um, other than that, um, you should be good to go with these acrylics. I promise you, you won't regret them. And the uh, link to that will be in the description box below. Don't forget to check that out as well as my brand ambassadors discount codes. I get a ton of comments, you guys. You have no idea. Where can I get these products? Where can I get these products? I'm like, are you serious? Like, all I talk about on my videos are about my products, what's launching, what's restocking, what's not restocking, what's this, what's that. Everything is bomb nails, you guys. The link to that um, is in the description box below. If you go, like, a little below my video, there's, like, a little arrow on the title of the video. There's a little arrow on the side. Click there, and then um, there's going to be a little description box that's going to pop up. And then there's going to be some links there. The link to that, it's literally on their shop, bombnails.com. Everything is on there, plus my brand ambassadors discount codes, uh, which do have a 15% off. Don't forget to check that out, you guys. So, yeah, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and just keep on applying this acrylic, this buttery acrylic. And, um, and now I'm going to go ahead and apply a what's it what's oh yeah a foil gel <laughs> i'm sorry you guys we're gonna go ahead and apply a foil gel this is from a brand that i don't work with anymore but that's literally all i have so um yeah now i'm gonna go ahead and uh cure that under the lamp for about 60 seconds you want to make sure that your foil gel is fully cured like fully fully cured everywhere if not nothing's gonna stick to it so now i'm gonna go ahead and place in the little foil and then i'm gonna be doing the exact same thing on the thumb and i'm gonna go ahead and apply just a thin coat of um, matte top coat because we're we are gonna be working with a ombre on top of that so it's just easier for me to work with this um other than a shiny top coat you can also use a shiny top coat if that's what you like um but you want to protect the foil because the mono does ruin it um, as soon as your brush touches it so make sure you protect it with a top coat a base coat whatever you have around you guys just or something you know what i mean just go ahead and apply a layer of that and then you're able to work with your ombre um, as soon as it comes out of the lamp so now i'm gonna go ahead and use my same bubble bath nude i love this nude you guys it's such a beautiful nude and i feel like it suits everybody it's so so beautiful it's more like in like a opal pinky nude like very subtle very very pretty you guys i this is literally by far i think my favorite from the whole collection i really love bubble bath nude um so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and just um ombre this all the way well not all the way you guys but like towards half of the nail i would say <laughs> and um we're gonna be doing the exact same thing on the pinky here um and thankfully this day was really hot you guys this was i think i recorded this on saturday of last week and um it was such a beautiful day you guys it was really hot outside it, we were like around 70 degrees so everything was working perfect like perfect everything it just went so smooth you guys i loved it so I just love weather like that. I, I love winter. Like, that's my... I love winter, you guys. But um, when it comes to nails, like, the temperature sometimes, it just won't help it. But there's nothing a little heater can, you know, fix. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, you guys. Anyway, now we're going to move on to the index nail. I'm just kind of removing any acrylic that was, like on the skin of the pinky because of course that will cause lifting of course i'm going to remove this set as soon as i am completely done with the design um but you know of course i'm not gonna do it like whatever you know what i mean i need to take the steps that i would take if this was a real client or if this was a set that i would keep for i don't know you guys for two or three weeks whatever and now for my index nail we're gonna be doing a quilted nail I really screwed this nail up, you guys. Okay, so I'm trying to work here as fast as I can because, of course, we're not going to be capping this nail. We want it to have, you know, I guess like the right structure of the nail. We're kind of building up the nail using just 
coqueta or whatever color you're using just because we're going to be doing a quilted nail and this is a design that i've done before like a lot you guys i've done it a lot in my past videos um you know very old videos i've done it before and for some reason i did it two times you guys i did it i removed this nail and then i did it uh, like another time this is the second time that's the one that i kept because i'm like you know what i'm not gonna go ahead and remove it and then do it all over again like no i'm just so tired of that so um yeah I, it just didn't come out you guys it didn't come out the way i wanted it to come out it it was like the lines were all crooked <sighs> it, it this one did stress me out a little bit but you know what i just kept on going i'm like you know what that's that's okay like that's totally fine i think i can work around it i think i'm able to just be i guess somewhat satisfied with it even though i was not fully satisfied with it um but uh yeah i guess it, it's all good you guys you know sometimes you have your ups sometimes you have your downs and just as much as you have your bad hair days you're gonna have a bad nail day so i guess this was my day where just this nail in particular wasn't just coming through she was just not giving she was just not having it today i don't know she was throwing a tantrum or something because girl she was just not it um but hey like whatever i just kept on going and you know don't stress about it you guys if something is not going right or the design is not going your way or it's not looking the way you want it to look it's totally cool you guys just you know keep your cool keep your chill um and just keep going just go with the flow don't don't just stop there and give up like just keep going keep pushing through because honestly at the end of the day it's just a nail it's just something that's gonna come off your hand and you know what i mean it's not gonna be forever and you know the girls that get it get it and the ones that don't don't um but yeah nothing is gonna be super perfect you know what i mean just keep pushing through you guys for example here like the line i think i went like way too low like at first it was going good you guys see the top part of it was going like good but this is what messed it up and i'm like oh my god it looks freaking ugly i hate it i don't like it so i ended up removing it and i did another one but whatever <laughs> so now i'm gonna go ahead and cap everything you guys of course i am using my monomer which is coming soon and my crystal clear acrylic which is still available on the website don't forget to check that out and yeah you guys i'm gonna leave you guys to this part because honestly i have nothing else to mention and it's just capping and filing so i'm gonna leave you guys to the capping and to the filing and i'll be back
Okay, baby girl, so after all that capping and after all that filing, we're going to move on to the actual decoration or nail art or whatever. So we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of matte top coat. This is available on the website, my matte top coat and my shiny top coat, which is my big boy shiny top coat. And I think we also have a few left of the glass one or something like that. Um, which that one is a little bit cheaper you guys than my big boy top coat because that big boy is like the bottle is super huge It's super super big um, So now we're gonna go in with a lot of crystals and some pearls. So like to guide me I'm gonna go in with uh, Like where I want the heart to begin and where I want the heart to end So I placed one at the top and one at the bottom and that's just like a little guide for me and I'm going to be going in with, with some AB crystals and with some little pearls. Um, and it wasn't really looking cute. I'm not going to lie, you guys. But hey, it looks cute. <laughs> uh, but anyway, you guys, I'm going to just go ahead and do the little heart. As I mentioned, um, I didn't do like the little blooming flower in the center, which was like initially my plan. But then I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to mess it up. Like, I know I'm going to mess it up. I know it's not going to look cute. I'm, I know I'm going to do something that I'm going to hate. And I'm going to have to remove everything, file. And I was not about to do that, you guys. So I just went with the flow. I just did the little hearts and just stuck to that. And that was that. Called it a day. But yeah, you guys, I'm going to leave you guys to this part. Um, and then it's pretty much all crystals, you guys. I think I only added crystals here as like the little heart shape. And then I'm going to be adding a little bow on the pinky. Um, because we're, of course, it's a coquette vibe. It's a coquette design. So we're going to be adding a little bow, pink bow on the pinky and on the thumb. And then we're going to be adding more crystals on there. And then on the quilted nail, I think I did, um, some little pearls on each of like the, where the little lines cross. That's where we're going to be adding some little pearls. So that's pretty much it, you guys. Also, I did went ahead and add some caviar beads, I believe, but I did not record imagine me sitting there recording every single little caviar bead that i do apply on each of the like on the center of each of the crystals like oh girl no i was not about to do that we would be here for hours literally i think caviar beads just give it like that oomph that little touch that each crystal needs you know what i mean but then again it's very it's a very tedious um you know thing to do on the nail they look beautiful but it's just so annoying to be putting one by one you know what i mean it's very 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 annoying um but yeah that's pretty much it that's pretty much what i did you guys um and then of course after that i top coated everything and yeah i'll leave you guys to it and i'll be back towards the end to say my goodbyes <laughs>
and this is the end result baby girls i really 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 hope you guys enjoyed it i really hope you guys liked it don't forget to add your cuticle oil remember you don't want your nails looking all crusty dusty so please remember to add your cuticle oil every single day and this is the end result as i said <laughs> thank you so much baby girls it really means the world to me you guys are literally mvps for real though like you guys can be somewhere else but you choose to be here with me for i don't know 10 15 20 25 minutes um and thank you that really means everything it does you guys i don't think you guys will ever understand how much your support your love your support everything just means to us um content creators small business owners it just i don't know you guys it's just such a beautiful feeling um and thank you thank you thank you thank you because without you we wouldn't be here so yeah baby girls i'll leave you guys to it i have a beautiful and a wonderful weekend i will see you guys here on the next one stay safe god bless and bye bye